shit's always yelling at people. My god, it's such a <laughs> Alright guys, so I don't even know how to define this video, it's two in one or one in two because we took one video and split it in two separate videos or I don't know, just watch it and you will see. So in this video here on my channel you're gonna see the restoration part of what we've done today and in Chef's uh, channel you're gonna see the cooking part of this video and uh, I'm just showing you briefly here what he's done in the shop that was very interesting but if you want to see the complete cooking video just follow the link above and that's gonna take you to Chef Tash's channel where he's gonna give you all the details and cut measurements and stuff <laughs> the soup was delicious believe me I loved it Now there's a <coughs> there's a little hole here in the end of the channel which I need to which I need to repair before I start installing the caps on the other side and this is what it looks like on this side so I'm gonna have to weld that and there's a little pinhole here too and only after that I will have I will be able to do the rest of the cover here. Doesn't shut up, does it? Here I obviously drilled some holes in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm gonna fill them up. I have a friend who is famous with his wrong holes on his 250. I think it's contagious, you know. <laughs> That's not nice! <laughs> <laughs> You're making your own video there. Oh, I'm not allowed to comment. Let's go with approximately six tablespoons of butter. Is it ready yet? About an hour. Oh my god, I'm starving. Oh my. <laughs> didn't have breakfast, didn't have dinner last night. That's your fault. I was waiting for the soup. Right, so while the soup is cooking, the chef is gonna come and take over this patch here or the other patches, whatever. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pull out the bonnet 
Be quiet, please. <laughs> you made noise, I'm gonna make noise. <laughs> In the meantime, we're gonna take out the bonnet and I'm gonna start working on the dent on the other side. <laughs> All right, so he decided to start with the floor first and once this is done, he's gonna do this me... like this, right? Uh, no, it goes uh, <laughs> perpendicular. Like this, right? Yeah, exactly, that's it. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna see what I can do here with the stud welder. Never had this experience before, so I hope I'm gonna do a good job, if not, I'm gonna just cut it out and weld another plunge there. <laughs> Did you say you're looking for a stud welder? Yeah. Maybe I need to come over and do that job for you. <laughs> First we have to remove the paint from this. Okay, it looks better already. Might be able to hammer it out actually, even though I have two layers of metal here. Let me try and see what I can do. All right, from here we're gonna do the studs. So I'm gonna try to put a row of uh, studs on this line, as close as possible one to each other, and. I don't know if this is the right way, but experience comes with experience, you know. So I've heard people saying first in, last out. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start from the two ends and going towards the center. it to itself so maybe that's gonna support it a little we'll see oh works better now Okay, I don't know what's better, his cooking or his welding. But we will see that in one hour, I guess. Lunch time's coming. Yeah, he did a good job here. So, we'll give him something else to do. Uh, yeah. Interfere with your door, is that gotta be pounded in? Yeah, we'll have to hammer it a little bit in when you tuck mm -hmm. it in a couple of places. So I'm gonna tack down here and then pound that. Yeah, that way. that's perfect. Get me another hammer. Hey, keep quiet, I'm making a video here. What was that? I'm making a video here, keep quiet. <laughs> he has golden hands, you see? He's making my car silver. His 250s turned to silver already, so now he started making my car silver. Beautiful. Thank you. 
Missing only crackers. Oh, got a hammer? What do you think? I go for lunch without a hammer? Give me a hammer. Of course, I always have a oh. hammer handy. <laughs> crackers. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. We had a very delicious lunch. Thank you so much, Dave. Ready for a nap now. <laughs> Ready for a nap. I'm gonna put my helmet down. Right <laughs> Pretend that you're welding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was really, really delicious. He still has his station there, but now he's gonna become a welder. And I'm gonna become a tin man. I'm gonna still work on this stupid dent. <coughs> You see, it's almost there, but still it needs to come up a lot more. And the funny part is that it doesn't come out anymore. I keep hammering and hammering and it doesn't come out too much. So once again, Dave is working so fast that I can't keep up making patches for him. He just finished my weld there and ground the top piece of uh, this repair. And now I have to make another one for the lower section. And in the meantime, he's gonna start working on my hood here, where I have this little area, which needs some attention. He's been bugging me for this from the very beginning actually, together with the roof when he pushed me into, me into start fixing my roof and he was telling me this was the second thing but I didn't listen to him for that so now he's we, gonna we do put it. put that off for like months. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen again. Yeah. We're probably gonna have to paint this car now. Why? Because I ground all this stuff off the hood now. We're probably gonna have to paint the car. Oh my god, I thought we were gonna salvage the paint. I guess I shouldn't have ground this time. Yeah. Oh. Well, too late now. All right, at least don't... Maybe you can blend something in. <laughs> I will, yeah. Can be right. This hole looks much bigger than what I just cut. <laughs> too small? Yeah. How did I manage to do that? Hmm. You knew it was wrong before you brought it back to the car. Yeah. When I drew it, it looked right, but when I cut it out, I blame it on the marker. Yeah. The Sharpie's too thick. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know anything. That was my template. It's the cardboard I use. Cheat my ah. Okay. I can't figure out the rest. Yeah, I can just clean up the paint. Yeah, I do. Thank you. All right, thanks.
has a little bit of a shape here, so matches perfectly. So one is completely for Dave, and I can keep doing my little dent over there. He's like a machine, he's done already, and now he's there already, on my next touch. Finally! <laughs> Finally he got to where he wanted to be. Yeah. Hopefully I can weld now, this has got to look good. <laughs> Alright, so while he is doing this... I patched this bell out. <laughs> I hope it wasn't welded. No. Uh, if it falls down after it's welded, then it's bad. So while he's welding that patch, I'm gonna do see here a little reorganization of the things. Because I need something that is stuck under the car. I think I'm gonna hook it up to the roof rack. <laughs> Going up. So that's what I needed from under the car. The car doesn't need it anymore for now. You see that guys, what I have to keep up with? Every three minutes, give me work, give me work. So he completed this already, even though I'm not happy because I can't see where it was. So now he discovered something else that he needs to do. And I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, I, I was expecting this to happen at some point. I just got a wireless mic a uh, couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, and I've been using it a uh, while, and um, yeah, I forgot to turn it on here. So anyways, I'm showing here, Dave, that uh, I forgot to weld those uh, plug welds on the, on the seal cap, and just telling him what my idea is there, so he can weld it for me. Okay, so I pulled the frame out and uh, I'm gonna start working on it soon, but I want to finish this dent and since David helped me so much with the metal work, it's almost done now and I can move to something else once the dent is done and that's gonna be the frame. So for the frame, I'll turn the auto focus on. So the frame looks pretty good. There are just few little areas that actually just one which David found is right here. This area is a little bit pitted, so I'll probably have to replace this uh, uh, a little patch here. I can see that uh, Keith already replaced the bottom of this and the bottom of this. So he, when Keith started restoration 30 years ago, that's what he started with. He started with the frame and he said he sandblasted it and he primed it. So probably I'm just gonna do a little scotch bright now or um, a little bit wire brush 
so it, uh, it is scuffed and then I'm gonna just paint it. That's a very big help from Kit because I remember on my Spitfire I spent maybe two three days on the frame just to clean it. I didn't even do I did some repairs on the frame but not so major repairs but here Kit saves me a lot of time. But for now I'm not gonna touch it until I finish that dent over there and that dent is giving me headaches already. Alright, so it's uh, 5 o'clock already, even past 5, and we're getting ready to leave and that's gonna be it for this year, because it's uh, December 30th today, I'm not gonna come uh, in tomorrow, so that's everything for this year and as usual when David is here we've done a lot of work today so he finished even this cup here the end cup and he did it like an artist beautiful job much better than what I did on the other side I still have to finish a little bit here uh, a little weld right here which I forgot and Dave did a beautiful job here on this side so that's done the floor is done you can't see it now from all the tools but let me move it. so the floor is done the transition piece is done this repair here is completed we run on a little bit of an issue here on this uh, finishing piece it looks like it is a little bit too short because that's where it needs to be but it for some reason it starts curving much earlier than what it's supposed to it's the same on the other side so we decided to leave that for next year uh, here I'm almost there with this repair it's not completed yet just this middle area here needs to be pulled maybe one eighth of an inch more but for some reason I can't pull that out <laughs> and I will see, I'll leave that for the next year too so, so some projects weren't completed this year but uh, that's fine a lot of work has been done as you saw we already pulled the frame out from, the, uh, from under the car so that's gonna be next year I'm gonna start painting this frame and start assembling the suspension and of course the most important job we've done today was the soup. <laughs> I'm taking my stove and I'm going home. Okay, our chef got upset and he's going home with his stove. <laughs> Alright, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful next year, 2018. I hope everything is okay with your families and with all your projects that you are working on. And I'll see you in the new year bye don't drink too much on the new year's day we forgot our cookies come on you were hiding them so far no i was cleaning up <laughs> and i forgot we had them so we're gonna have to have a cookie before we go okay let's you have like a cookie a ginger molasses Yes, I like ginger molasses, I'll whatever need, that is. I need a big glass of milk, though. Yeah, I can't offer you that. <laughs> All right, we'll just have to have the cookies. Yeah, we'll have a glass of Coke. Okay. <laughs>